So this season, Posh released its very first line extension. A line extension is an extra set of fun products that are not available in our regular everyday catalog. In the summertime, our skin has needs that it might not otherwise have all year round. It's much warmer, we want a lighter moisturizer that still does its job moisturizing, but feels a little lighter on the skin. Hello Summer Store. So Posh has come out with this six piece Summer Store set. It's currently available on our site for $99, um, but I've got each one of the products to go over with you. Let's try some of the products, shall we? So first up is our That's So Cute Foaming Face Wash. So I'm gonna actually demo these products with you so that we can experience them together. This is my very first time using That's So Cute. I have gotten to smell it uh, when I was at home office and it smells amazing. Amazing. So uh, how many pumps does it say to use? Two to three pumps. I am a product overuser. Oop. Okay, well, the pump shoots pretty far. <laughs> Two, three, we'll just go with another one for good measure. So you can see it really does come out super foamy, almost like a shave foam. And then you want to massage in circular motions. So it's super foamy. It's also really like moisturizing. Like I can feel, it's almost like a foamy lotion going on. Um, so super smelling like, is it cucumber? <laughs> that would make sense. So I have a washcloth right here, I came prepared. Guys, my skin feels amazing. Like, that's a nice, That's this is a nice one. Well, that one is going to be for me now. Like I said, in the summertime, our skin still needs moisture. And just for the record, if you do have oily skin, oily skin needs moisturizer too. And our Suns Out, Funs Out um, Replenishing Face Moisturizer is wonderful. It's almost like a gel-like texture. It goes on nice and light. It does the moisturizing for you, but you don't feel it sitting on your skin. It's really a great product. I'm literally trying all of these products for the very first time with you guys. I mean, aside from like, playing with it on my hand at home office. So, sun's out, fun's out, moisturizer is next. I usually like to do um, my serum in between, but just for summer store purposes, we're gonna go right to moisturizer. Um, let's read the directions. Soothing your skin with light and calming aloe vera and moisturizing vitamin E before or after fun in the sun. Note, this is not a sunscreen. You do need also a sunscreen. So again, got like a pea size amount of this guy. Maybe just a little bit more, I like to take it right down my neck. Super light, so um, it is like a gel-like texture, gel-ish like texture. Um, you can feel it sink right in. It's not sitting on my skin at all and there is a little bit of a cooling sensation. It's a very very nice moisturizer. I love it. Okay, well, I don't get to demo the bar with you, but I've heard very good things about this. I did wash my hands with it at home office. It does have a slight bit of a cooling sensation. Alyssa used it to shave her legs and said it was the closest shave of her life. Um, doo -doo -doo, clean and soothe with palm oil, a splash of menthol, and hydrating jojoba beads. So it's the menthol that's going to be cooling in this. But nevertheless, on to the next. Mm -hmm. Now, just because I wear way less makeup and maybe even no makeup in the summer, doesn't mean I still don't wanna look beautiful. Enter this prismatic primer. So this is called You've Got It Glowing On, and this is a prismatic primer. So when you first squirt it out of the tube, you're gonna think, oh my goodness, it's so sparkly because it is pretty sparkly. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it on so you can see how it looks on the skin. And remember, it's a primer, so you can use it all by itself. You can also use it as that protective barrier between your skin and your regular everyday makeup as well. Bonus tip, because this is so super shiny, I've actually dotted a little bit on the high points of my cheekbones after my makeup is all done, kind of as an additional little highlight as well. All right, well, let's see how it goes. Can you see the sparkles? Here we go. I think I need more. 
so see I don't feel like it makes my face too sparkly it just gives it that summer glow healthy glow you can feel it as soon as I put it on I can feel that like smooth layer it really smooths out all of the lines it really smooths your face and that's why I'm saying you can use it totally alone but if you do use makeup you have to use a primer a primer allows your makeup to go on so much smoother it keeps your makeup on so much more even that much longer and it also provides that protective barrier between your skin and the makeup that you put onto it so um, I don't know if you can Go ahead and tell me I look prettier already, everybody. I will accept it. <laughs> um, so, there we go. That's just the primer. I want to go grab um, my foundation so that I can put a little bit of foundation on, on top of it. And then we're going to go in with the bronzer stick. So, stick with me. I'm going to just run and grab my foundation really quick. It'll take me probably 90 seconds. Go ahead and time me. It's fine. I'm back. Okay. So, I had to dampen my beauty blender that I'm now dropping on the clean floor. So I'm gonna use my IT Cosmetics CC Cream that does has, have SPF in it because SPF is important, everybody. If anybody is applying foundation without a beauty blender, we need to talk. Okay, guys, I'm blending as quickly as possible. Blend, 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 blend. And then we're gonna go in with the bronzer stick. So typically, um, once you've applied a liquid foundation or CC cream like this, you're gonna set it with a powder. Um, but creams mix with creams and powders mix with powders. So before you go in with any kind of setting powder, you're going to use your cream bronzer. Now I don't want you to be scared, so we're going to totally be using this bronzed broad stick together. It's a very dark chocolate brown, as you can see, but it blends out like nobody's business. Like I said, this guy, hello, it's a little dark, but it's super duper blendable and we're gonna learn together. So if you want to do contouring to make your face a little more defined, what you're going to do is, especially if you have a big forehead like me, it's basically a three on your whole face. So you're gonna do a little, a little darkness there. A little darkness there. And then this, I feel like I should only do half my face so you can really see the difference. That's going to make the, the face look skinnier. And then you can even get a little fancy and go down the side of your nose like that. But I really want you guys to see how blendable it is. So There we go. So we can use just your hand, your finger, and you're going to like tap it to blend it. Or you can go back in with your beauty blender for blending. You can also use a stippling brush. You have like lots, lots of lots of options. Let's just get in here and make it happen. However you want to blend. Blending is what's most important though because you obviously don't want to have harsh lines. And if you're looking to do like a contoured look, like really slimming the face, Gosh, you can almost you can almost see a difference already, right? And I've barely even blended it. But the the biggest important tip why am I so out of breath? You guys make me so excited. <laughs> the the most important tip when you're trying to contour is just keep adding product. Is to keep this part of your cheek right here. This needs to stay very um your natural color, not colored in whatsoever. That's what's gonna give you the definition is by keeping this blank. And then this little area as well, where you're typically going to do your concealer. But, blend, 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 blend. When you're blending um, the contour that you do here, you're blending upwards, never down. You really want to keep this very clean. In case I didn't make that clear one second ago when I said it. Doo -doo -doo. But you can see how dark it is, how dark it goes on. I have to watch some um, YouTube, YouTube tutorials myself to remember exactly how you're supposed to contour your collarbone, but there's a way to do your collarbone, and if, and if, you're, if you want to have the cleavage, there's a way to contour your cleavage so that it looks like ba-bang. I'm not into that, but I do not judge you if you are. There's also a way to contour your arm to look like it's a little bit more defined. Um, last night I zoomed with all of my premieres. We zoom 
twice a month. So, you know, if you want to be on the cool club, hit premiere. Anyway, we were zooming and um, Chanda said it best, whatever I can't tone, I tan. <laughs> so if you can't tone those arms, you can tan them, bronze them, whatever. But anyway, I am pretty, you know, blended out. You guys, this could use some more blending. Doo -doo -doo. But anyway, pretty blended out. And I only did this side of my face. Do you see the difference? I'll just hop in and do the other side now. You can even do a little bit up here too, again, if you have a large forehead like me. Anything you want to recede back, you're gonna put dark color on. Anything you want to pop out, you're gonna put highlighter on. So when I get to highlighter, I'm gonna highlight like right here. Sometimes I'll highlight right there because that's like the cheek that pops out when I smile. You can also highlight right above or right below the brow bone and then the little tip of your nose. Unless you have a long nose, then you probably don't wanna highlight the tip. But you know, if you have a regular nose, you wanna highlight just the tip. See if I can make the sides even. Okay, I'm super white and it super blends. And remember, you can um, layer this. And by layer, I mean like, you know, I went in with my swipe. If I decide I want a heavier contour, I can go in with another swipe and just build that color. It's obviously better to start with a little less. And I did just a little bit along the jaw. You can really bring that contour down, that bronzer down, if you really want to get more of this to disappear. You don't have to be a makeup person to play with these products. In fact, I challenge you, if you're not a makeup person, to start playing with these products and do it on a go live like this right with your VIPs. Maybe practice a time or two on your own so that you're not scared and panicked when you do it for your VIPs, but you getting on a live on your personal page or on a VIP, admitting to your people that, I am not a bronzer girl, but this is what Jessica showed me, or this is what whoever showed me, or this is what Posh showed me, and then you show them this little trick, this little chick, trick, trick, chick, trick, <laughs> of getting um, cheekbones, of making a huge forehead slightly smaller, of getting a turkey neck slightly more, you know, not noticed, of getting more of a jawline. These are tricks that most women would appreciate and that can be accomplished very easily. I mean, obviously I'm lollygagging and chatting with you guys, but you can do that in just a couple of minutes. And look, just that primer, a little bit of CC cream and a bronzer and boom, my face looks so much more summer fresh than it did when it was just freshly washed. Let's show you catch me if you tan. <laughs> I would never catch you because I don't tan. <laughs> Get it? Anyway, catch me if you tan smells amazing. It smells like summer. Let me get you up close. You can see I've already dug my little fingers in there. Um, so this is softer than a coconut oil because, you know, coconut oil is when it gets to 70 two degrees I think it's 72 degrees when it solidifies then it gets pretty hard this is pretty soft Ooh, very soft this is very soft I dug my finger in it just real easy like there's two fingers in it I like to use a lot of product anyway so this is the catch me if you tan sunning body balm this smells very coconutty hydrate and soothe your skin before catching some rays with a blend of coconut oil sunflower oil and cocoa butter you guys, this gives your skin seriously the best glisten ever. So I'm just gonna smear it all in there. And just like coconut oil, you can see that it's gonna liquefy really quickly and easily. And then massage it into your skin. And it gives you that nice sheen. I don't know if you can see my sheen, but it's giving me a sheen. All right, so this body balm is really wonderful. Remember that it does not have sunscreen in it, so this is not a tanning oil, ladies. Use your sunscreen. Skin cancer is a real thing. <laughs> Ask me how I feel about sunblock. Anyway, um, oh God, it just smells so good. 
this is really a good, good, good product. I got this um, actually in the mail. I should have brought my postcard in here. I got this in the mail from Ann Dalton herself. She um, sent me a postcard that said congratulations on earning the trip to Greece and sent this along. I think every one of the Greece earners got one. So I'm super excited to give this a try because Lord knows I am not tan. Um, but like I said before, I've got to do the whole shower thing and then coat myself in this without any clothes in the way. So, um, that's happening. And then it does say in our summer store, um, book that once you have applied your tanner, you're going to leave it on for five minutes. I think the instructions literally say to dance around naked. Okay. Maybe they don't say it on the bottle, but somewhere Posh has given us written instructions that say to dance around naked for five minutes. Um, and that's all that it takes for the fake, uh, gradual tanner. I keep calling it a fake tanner, which it is, but the gradual tanner. That's how long it takes for the gradual tanner to set in. Um, and then it does suggest to follow up with the Catch Me If You Tan body balm. Of course, you can follow up with coconut oil or a body butter or whatever you want to use. But hello, when we've got collateral from Posh that suggests after fake it till you make it, you follow up with the body balm. I don't know about you guys, but I've got customers and I'm one of them that likes to follow the instructions. And so if I buy a gradual tanner and it says to follow it up with the Catch Me If You Tan body balm, then I'm gonna be like, hey posh lady, I need one of those Catch Me If You Tan body balms. For the record guys, $99 for this bag is a great deal. It's not just a great posh deal, it's a great deal in general. Go to Macy's or Bloomingdale's and go to the, you know, cosmetics counters, go to Sephora. Six full-size products for $99 that are all summer specific. It's really about building the value and really introducing your customers to these products because I bet you that half of the women on your friends list would be like, nope, I don't need a bronzer, no thank you. But if you do a video or you do a go live like I just did and you show them how to shrink their forehead and give them cheekbones and get rid of the turkey neck, they might suddenly need a bronzer. So it's up to you to sell your products and the best way to sell them is to use them, demo them, and talk about them. And you're not talking about that talk abouting them. All right, guys, I have got to cut this off. You're not talking about them just to make a sale. You're talking about them because you're excited about them and you want to share them, right? And when you're coming from that place, then people aren't going to feel like a sale. They're going to feel a genuine connection that you're really just building the relationship with them, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or in a live setting like this. So talk about your products, use your products, love your products, and be personal. Get your face out there. Learn some of these products. Get a set for yourself if you don't already have one. Now I look all pretty for the day. I should do this every day. All right, guys, have a great day. If you need anything, send me a message, tag me on the team page. Pasha on!